I have to say that one of my profoundest experiences was with the Felix Gonzalez Torres show that was there when I first started um, working at the University of Chicago. And at first, I was a little bit of a skeptic when I first saw the work, and I thought, mm, I don't really you know. I'm not sure if this, this does this for me. Um, but then over time of living with the show and coming up to the fourth floor and having the elevators open on that mint green hallway and the kind of assault of the mint green candy and watching that pool turn into a kind of oceanscape and seeing the clocks, the lovers um, start to go out of kilter with one another. Like, I want to say that work changed the way that I think about art, you know, it, it changed my, re my receptivity to art making and to thinking about art as a practice and to thinking about what a curator does. Um, it, was really, it was really a very profound experience for me. And then that's happened over and over and over again with different shows that she's put on there. There's, I was thinking about this earlier and thinking about the notion of going to see an art exhibition and being transformed and how in some ways that seems so romantic and seems so old school. But I guess it is what I associate with um, the kinds of shows that Suzanne has, has curated. And, and feeling that I see the world differently. Like it's not, again, this is what's really important. It's not only that I see art differently, but that I see the world differently through some of the shows that she's brought to the Wren and through the way that she thinks about art. It's, it's, it's the whole landscape of, you know, of, for, for again, the most romantic thing I could say, like being alive, um, which sounds really hyperbolic, but I really mean it. <laughs>